Hello. This is my 91 ST185 Silica All Track. I love MR2s, but I think this car is probably more special than that car just because of its rarity. The fact that it's four wheel drive, the fact that it's turbo. They share power plants, the MR2 in this car. I just think these things, are, these things are super cool. But unfortunately, this thing has relieved itself of all of its power steering fluid from the rack, from the uh, pump, all that stuff. So, in typical Ross fashion, we're just going to take it all apart and redo everything. I originally threw this car together back in 2020 because I needed something to drive because my truck was killing me on gas and this thing actually gets about I probably average 28 to 30 miles per gallon with it but yeah we're gonna take it apart and do some stuff that's in this box might be wondering, Ross, if the power steering's leaking, why are you pulling out the radiator? Well, I need to pull this engine out. I'm gonna do the rack then. I'm gonna rebuild it with some, with some seals. But basically, let's touch back on another reason why I'm taking this apart. So, I threw this thing together with a bunch of used and garbage parts that I had laying around and things that were donated to me from friends and the clutch is just making a crazy noise so i need to swap that out so the engine needs to come out for that and i figured while the engine's out i'd have plenty of access to the rack then so order of operations i'm just going to wait to do the rack and stuff like that then but the reason i really pulled out the radiator is because in this box i have a usa made high quality aluminum core that i'm going to try to build a radiator out of Never been a radiator before, but I've done intercoolers, so it can't be much different. But basically, it's going to go in there. As you can see, this does not have a stock turbo on it. I went through two factory turbos in one year, and they just kept on breaking. So, put a Pulsar, I guess their version of the GTX 3071 on there. It's been super reliable. I'm pretty impressed. Normally, I'm a name brand turbo guy, but colored me impressed or whatever people say so yeah i have it on like 12 and a half pounds stock ecu stock engine built the header to fit it but other than that there's that it works really good for this car as you can see there's a smiley face there when i had stock turbos on this thing i was recirculating the blow-off valve so because this car was a budget car i basically just put a plate over it where that blow-off valve used to come out and then i put one of those on there that's all gonna get redone now. It's gonna be pretty when it's done. I would like it to be to reflect how special it is. So I'm gonna try to pay homage to like WRC and stuff like that with my little flair on it, I guess. All right, moving on. Not a toy. She pretty thick. It might be slightly smaller than that radiator, but you'll see why in a minute or in future episodes, we'll get to that. This thing's nice. I can't wait to weld on it. Got our general radiator shapes cut out. I'm gonna get them tacked to this and then build the part on the top, I guess. Then I'll weld these tanks inside and out and then weld them to this. Here we go.
of that. We've got that barb on. I'm going to start welding it to the heat exchanger now. Got this welded up. Still need to add a radiator cap and a bung for a sensor and also the tabs to mount it. But that pretty much wraps up this part of this project. Not my best looking welds. A little tricky welding these cores to these end tanks. Something I need to just do more to figure it out better. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. Went ahead and pulled the front bumper off. Got the intercooler out of the way. You can kind of see what I'm going for here. Wonder what's going to go there. There is a little bit of trimming that needs to take place. I don't really like cutting up these cars, but to pay homage to the WRC style that I'm going for, we're going to trim some stuff out and I'm going to try to duck this thing really good. So, here we go. Okay, you can kind of see there's some things in the way obstructing the, uh, the flow into the radiator. We're just going to sit back here. This has already been trimmed by the previous owner. I guess for an intercooler tube, not sure. Didn't end up doing it that way. But I'm probably going to end up cutting this flush. I'm going to relocate the, diff or the transmission cooler. The power steering cooler is going to get relocated. Try to have a straight shot to this in, to this radiator, but basically the things that need to stay are definitely this. It has the support bar, which I might end up redoing. We'll see. This is going to take some figuring out. I'm probably going to move this horn too. So, a little fiddle faddling to get this figured out. Do it the way I want to do it. Okay, camera was charging, so didn't catch any of this, but basically got it mounted up in here. It's incredibly rigid, fits how I want, nice and big, didn't look like it, but there is a gap to that frame. I like it, nice and open in here, try to duct it right up in there. I think the turbo is probably going to sit right about in this area, that's what's going to happen. I think this is a good place to stop this one. There's still a bunch to do on this car. We're gonna do a turbo kit before we pull the engine out. But you'll just have to like and subscribe to hang out with us more. See all that stuff coming. Thank you for watching.